The Eccentric Man video channel is kindly sponsored by Lost Ark Games in Stevenage. Once we're out of this uh, Tier 4 lockdown, get all your gaming goodies from the store. You can also order online. Greetings from the Eccentric Man. And what we've done is the unboxing of the terrain. So let's have a little look. It's all from Last Valley, the Last Valley, and you can find them on the internet. Uh, best off looking at Facebook page and then you can go from there. So let's have a look what we have. We went, uh, it's got some curved hedges. A couple of hedges with trees. Some plain hedges with uh, chopped down trees on them. Some hedges with gaps. They're all 12 inches long, the big ones. Uh, the smaller ones are, are 6 inches. And we've got a couple with uh, gates. Moving on to stone fences. Stone fences. Stone wall. Stone walls. My wife's just come into the dining room. That was a loud bang. Uh, I had a little go for the uh, barbed wire, see what that was like. So we've got that. We've got stretch of roads, which will go across ways, lengthways on a six by four. Or I can have it as, uh, as a uh, going across the table on the four foot side. So that's uh, that's there. Got a variation on those. T junction, Y junction, straights and bits and a bit of curve. At the far back is a, a river. Uh, each of those sections is 12 inches long and the river looks like it's about nine inches wide. And then one piece with a ford. And we've gone for a, a marsh. And a pond. Two rows of trees. And they're six inches long. And then we move on to the trees. Where we've got 13 of the medium trees and then five of the large trees. I'll stick a 28mm figure down so that you can get some idea of the size comparison. I thought I'd do a little uh, set up. The table's around about five by four with the board underneath. So it gives us a, a fair representation. And this is for the rural set out. So if you remember to my previous videos, looking at the three table scenarios for Op Sea Lion. So one being rural, one being the edge of the town, and one being the town. So this is a, a possible setup for the rural side. But uh, it would be on a 6x4 table, and we do have extras. So we've got more trees and hedges, and a bit of stone wall, and a bit more river, and another tree, and a, well, I think a marsh there, underneath there. So we've got that already uh, to roll. But just a little setup to see how it would look, and how it goes up on the table. So yeah, very pleased with that. The uh, little building. Is one of the ones that I've got from Ham and Jam. I've got a, another selection of those and I'll, uh, I'll do a separate video of the Ham and Jam buildings. Move the scenery around a little bit and we've now got our second table, the edge of the town, with our church, a couple of buildings, some more roads coming in, not so many hedges, Starting to bring it into the more urban look. So once again, the uh, buildings are by Ham and Jam. A little bit of Sarissa that I'm working on there. Yep, so uh, gonna be enjoying playing on these. A possible table four. And this is a beach landing, so Kriegs Marine, 
meeting up with the Faustum Jaegers coming from the sort of a farm area through the town and onto the beach. So what we've got here is we've got the uh, tiny war games battle map, the 4x4 one this one. I may need to think about a 6x4. Uh, probably one with not such a big expanse of water. But anyway, there we go. We've got um, some pill boxes from any scale models. Bits of the last valley trees and hedges and things. The building is the one from Ham and Jam. And we've got a lighthouse, which is from eBay, which was a tenner, which was a bargain. But anyway, this is what we're looking at as our final mat. It could always go the other way. So we could have the uh, marine, the Creek Marine, landing on the uh, beach and moving up into the town. So makes not much odds, but that's what we're looking at. And now we come to the final setup. It's going to be uh, a towny village, and I'm trying to get it to be like a seaside ish, but it's going to be a tricky one. I'm trying to do the sort of Warmington on sea. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, as you can see, no battle mat at the moment because I'm trying to find one that uh, will do the job. The Deep Cut Studio cobblestone one may well work, uh, but I was looking for something which might have a promenade wall and a bit of sea next to it. Uh, I think that's a long shot in life. But there we go. You can only be helpful, can't you? So what have we got here? Uh, again, using the uh, the Last Valley stuff and a bit of Sarissa. I've got uh, a bandstand and a set of swings and a roundabout and a butter cross to put in the uh, the center as well the buildings are from ham and jam and they've been uh, specially painted up for the signs for what i wanted with my dad's army uh, theme so let's have a little look at what we got so we've got our houses Uh, a set of three. And this is the uh, Ham and Jam farmhouse, but uh, it's stuck by the side of the road at the moment. It'll do it. Uh, another set of three houses. So we've gone for the Swallows Bank, Tim Sweets, and Jones Family Butcher. And you can see the Corvus uh, Games van that I'm painting up. Refugees from Bad Squiddo. Uh, a smallish house on the side there. Again, Ham and Jam, and then the Ham and Jam Church. And we've got the Sarissa like, like Lichgate, Lichgate. Uh, so that's there. So if we have a look at the, the houses, let's have a look at the farmhouse first. Uh, roofs come off, and they have a, an interior bit. Same with the smaller one. That one's just the, the one story, so just there, so that's good. Into the church. So our main bits there. And then onto the top. No in a bit, but uh, we can certainly do that ourselves, I think. And then the tower at the top. We've got that there, and the same on the other side of it. The houses, well, the shops, if we come around. I've got two floors, so we've got the inner one there, and then we go down to the other one below it. So, all good. And again, once again, the uh, the house in the middle comes, roof comes off, and then the house on the edge. So, yeah, and the same again on the other side. So this is the, uh, the one we're looking at to do for our town village. So table probably three or four. I hope you like the run through of the terrain from Large Valley and Ham and Jam. Uh, I'm very pleased with what, uh, what arrived and we'll probably get some more Home and Jam buildings in the near future. Anyway, 
What's up next? Well, we're moving into the new year, 2021. What a, what a year. Hopefully it will be much better. We've got the vaccines coming out. I hope to get a video out showing of what I've completed in 2020. Uh, I've got to pull it back at the moment, so I won't be doing it just yet. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification button. And until the next one, take care and keep yourself safe and happy new year.